Hey guys, welcome to Functional Print Friday. If you like design and using 3D printing to solve real world problems and not just printing trinkets, this channel's for you. So what I've got for you on the bench this week is my Bosch uh, cordless vacuum cleaner. This runs on Bosch's uh, 18 volt batteries and uh, it's a great vacuum. Um, I use it quite a bit. Uh, it actually lasts on battery for longer than I anticipated it, it would. Um, and it includes a fair amount of tools with it. Um, you get uh, flexible hose, you get a uh, crevice tool, three extension wands, and this guy here, which I guess you would, I don't know, uh, I use this on my workbench top, but I guess that you could kind of call that like a floor tool. But what it's missing is a brush. I really like using a brush with my shop vac for um, just getting into areas or loosening material up that uh, just the, you know, the pull of the vacuum is not enough to suck it up. And strangely enough, Bosch doesn't even offer a brush for this, or at least they didn't, um, you know, back when I went to solve this problem. Uh, but what I found is that the company, um, also a German company, I think this is pronounced uh, Mealy, but I'm not 100% certain, uh, makes a very nice brush uh, for their uh, household vacuums that fits this quite well. It's the same, it's the same size. Uh, problem is now where do I keep this, right? I mean, I can put it here. Uh, but now the first time I go to use this vacuum cleaner with either the extensions or this guy or the crevice tool, and I take this off, particularly if I'm using the crevice tool, because if I take this guy off, I guess you could argue that, well, if I take this off of here, I could put this on here. And that would kind of work. But if I go to use the crevice tool, um, or if I want to use just this without the, the brush, now it's gone. Um, I don't know how it is for you guys, but for me, if it's not, if I don't have a, a consistent place to put it, or if it's not in the machine, it's, it's as good as lost. So, uh, what I came up with is this little guy right here. And this is um, what I would call a very simple solution to a simple problem. This takes the existing ring on this machine. This slips all the way to the back of it, okay, which is not used by this guy already. This guy only goes on um, about that far. So there's a probably about a millimeter and a half gap um, between as far as this piece wants to go on and where this piece is going to. Um, and then allows me to, if I face this guy this way, gives me a spot to put this brush on. And I designed and printed this a little over a year ago uh, and it has held up really well. I've never, I walk around, drop this thing down, it goes in my truck, um, lives in the closet, wherever. I've never, I've never gone to where I'm going to use this guy and set it down and found that that brush is missing. So a real simple one this week. Um, you know, hopefully that gives you guys uh, either an idea on how to solve this problem if, if you've got the same vacuum or a similar idea on how to solve this um, for uh, your vacuum. Um, let me down in the comments um, what you guys are using as a portable vac in the shop. I really like this Bosch one. Um, and honestly, that's my only complaint was that it didn't have a, a brush. I will link, if you, if you do have this exact same vacuum um, and you want a brush, I'll link this Mealy brush uh, down in the, uh, the, the description for this video. Um, and I'll link to the vacuum as well. If you're on the Bosch 18 volt system and you don't have a cordless vac, this guy is really great. All right, let's go take a look at the design for this and see if there is anything that, uh, anything that I missed. Okay, so here's the design for this. And uh, like I mentioned before, it's a simple solution to a simple problem. Uh, the majority of the design time I spent on this was in getting the very precise friction fit of both the inside diameter of this ring here, as well as the outside diameter of this portion here. And this is tapered as well. So when you place the brush tool down onto this, um, it's gonna tighten up before you actually reach the, the bottom here. And that, that lets you kind of adjust the friction fit and offers some support for variability in the inside diameter of that brush, uh, but also accounts for some wear and tear as both the outside uh, diameter of this wears and the inside diameter of the, uh, the brush tool. Um, in any event, that is it for the design on this. If you are interested in making one of these for yourself, uh, the STL file is on my site, fpfdesigns.com, which is linked down in the video description. And uh, if you enjoyed watching this and you like, uh, you know, um, 3D printed solutions to problems around the house, around your shop, um, consider subscribing. 
I put out a new video uh, once a week, every Friday, and it's uh, usually fairly short, uh, just like this one. It covers um, a design that, uh, that I came up with to solve a problem that I encountered around the house or shop. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Catch you next week.